what's going on YouTube? I hope each and every one of you is doing well. If this is your first time here, welcome and please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It really helps the channel out. If you can hear me better, it's because I finally got a mic. I was looking for a budget mic to start off with and after doing some research, reading and watching some reviews, I went with the Power Device Lavalier mic, which is on there right now. This is a $10 mic from eBay. This inexpensive microphone got me from something like this to this, which is what you're hearing now. However, today's video is not about the microphone. We're gonna talk about laser borsiders. Do they really work? So, laser borsiders. What I'm gonna share with you in this video is my personal experience using these products. So do they work? My answer is yes, but no. Before I explain why I said that, I briefly wanna go over how these laser borsiders work for those that don't know. And I do wanna take a minute to stress the importance of having your optic, your irons, or both zeroed at whatever distance you use, either 25, 36, 50, or 100 yards. Now, there are a bunch of factors that play in when zeroing a rifle or a pistol, like wind, bullet weight, uh, holdovers, and uh, bullet trajectory. But to keep this very basic, we're gonna talk about a basic zero using, in this case, a laser borsider. This nine millimeter and this two to three laser borsiders work exactly the same way. What you do is you twist on, and you're gonna insert the casing which houses the laser. This is not a live round. It houses the laser. You're gonna insert it into your chamber like so. Now it is recommended that you ride this light or bolt forward. Don't let it release like you normally do when you chamber around. So like so, lock it in. And now you got that reference point as you can see right there to make your adjustments on your optic. This is a multi-caliber laser bore sighter. It comes in with a bunch of little plungers here in different sizes to accommodate different calibers. Once you find the one that you need for whatever caliber you're sighting it in, you screw on to the stem of the laser bore sighter, and then this is what houses the laser. You screw it on, and then you slide it in through the muzzle end of the rifle or pistol, and then snug it up and flip on your laser, and now you got that reference point to make any adjustments on your optic or iron sights. So the sighting system works the same for the casing or for this kind of uh, laser bore sighter that goes inside your barrel. These laser bore sighters are commonly used to sight in a new optic to a rifle or pistol. Now, why did I say that they work, but they don't? Well, simply because I will never rely on a laser bore sighter zero as a true zero. The advantages of having a laser bore sighter or using a laser bore sighter is that it will get you on paper, save you ammo and time. But once it gets you on paper, you need to go to a range and confirm your zero by walking your shots towards your intended point of impact and boom, there you go. Now you're zeroed. So that is it, you guys. That wraps it up on my video on laser bore sighters. Let me know in the comment section if you have used one, have not used one, or definitely hate them. It'd be interesting to know your thoughts on these products. Also, let me know if I'm sounding better with this mic or it totally sucks. That is it, you guys. That wraps it up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate your support. D-Rock out.